amazing. No hope. So you can read it, no hope, and you can say no hope. Remember hope. I call this wall the wall of despair. The All Nation Cafe was started by a group of uh, Israeli, Palestinian, German, Canadian, uh, Arab Israelis who met in the, we all met in the Mount of Olives in the time of the Second Intifada. And we all met around the house of Haji Ibrahim. We start with the All Nation Cafe. I met Diane many, many years ago when uh, we are on a beast walk around several days and we met in the other side and I brought all the group, I invite all the beast worker to home and when they came home we then feel he want to be connected to us and he been living here like two and a half year and from the beginning we have the whole nation cafe start here. And from that house, from the spirit of hospitality in that house, we started to try to spread it out to the whole area, to East Jerusalem and then West Jerusalem. It's my hope that we can create a new um, reality, especially doing this caravan and being aware of what has been and what the history has been, but also with a, diff with a new vision. <laughs> For three years we were meeting here every Friday and the idea was to have a prayer. One time we returned four people from the peace vigil on Friday and we were walking up the Mount of Olives until we reached that sign that says All Nations Cafe. And there was a little hut, little house closed behind that sign. I had a dream that I served coffee under this sign, like in that hut, in that closed little house. I had a dream. A real dream, it's not a vision, it's a dream in the night. He's in here without a permission, like, and he's like, from the West Bank. Nadi, uh, the kid that Lisa brought, Nadi. He's a, he's our friend. He's, a, he's the, the brother of a very good friend of ours from Bethlehem, and he's not allowed to be in Jerusalem, like without a permission. And we said, you know, like you're right. We're sorry. We, you know, we didn't know. Next time we'll do a different thing. And he let us go. The, the, the soldier or the police, the military police, they say there is a law that he sh anybody, nobody is allowed into Israel from Palestine. That's their law. Right. We have other laws that say that people are human beings everywhere. It's not an argument who has the right law or which law we should abide to. We abide to our laws, they abide to their law. That's his job, we do our job. Mm -hmm. The question is, he has a gun and a whole <laughs> military network just around the corner next to the Wailing Wall. And we have, I don't know, we have like smiles, some creativity, a guitar maybe, not much to, to protect our law. It doesn't mean that our law is weaker than his law or his law is more right than ours. Just what, what kind of instruments you have to, to protect that law, to enforce that law, because laws are contradicting sometimes. So the trick is, I think Daphna did it very well, the trick is not to lose faith in your law, not to get frightened by the gun and say, okay, you have a gun, so your law works. And also knowing a little bit the history, the law, these kind of laws, they're not exactly laws. There's commands, there's army procedures that are changing all the time. Sometimes kids can come, in special holidays they can come, other times they cannot come. So it's nothing, it's not like, you, thou shall not kill. So with these rules you can play around and it's really in the hand of the of the policeman and the, the civilian and the, what kind of communication is between them. And the miracle. And the miracle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Holy Land Caravan, something we thought, out, thought about since the beginning, since four or five years ago. We wanted to bring people from all around the world and get uh, the local people to host them and to get a feeling, a first-hand feeling of what it means to live in the Middle East and also to get a feeling of the Israeli-Palestinian relationship, not just the political, 
but what's happening under the fabric of relationship here and the background where it's happening. Something you can't get really if you don't visit. How many you are? Okay, you are Masul come. Where are you? you I can send someone to pick you up. Okay, you are Masul come. We have a home for you. From where are you? Huh? Ecuador. You are most welcome. Come. We have a bed and food for you. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're walking down the walking down the Via Dolorosa and reaching here. This is the third station. Which I think is one of the places also. As he's walking down his path, like he's falling like a few times, carrying his cross from where he was where he was um, judged by the high priest, by Kayafa. And I was um, uh, making the an analogy or the metaphor they were talking as like, as we're doing our mission or conviction in life, like there's a place like we always have those, we stumble, like we fall down. And like things that we get discouraged and we get, and I can talk about also like personally about the work with the All Nations Cafe, like, but also moments like we're like discouraged and people coming and not coming and can we do it and things that are happening around us you know when we did our camp two years ago when there was like missiles like my parents were sitting in a house and the missiles were being shot at them in Haifa and at the same time I'm sitting with Palestinians here and the places where you're discouraged like can we make a change can we do something like you're falling but then you know like that this is your path and like you get up and you continue The purpose of the Holy Land Caravan, it has two purposes. One is to gather all the energy from the last five years of operation of the All Nations Cafe, different projects in the Middle East, especially in Israel, Palestine, and to go and meet the people who were involved in their places and see the places. Thank God we've, we've reached kind of a community sense. We've seen that in the caravan, in the wedding celebration party, that people really came to celebrate Simona and my union. People from all, all the communities, all the nationalities that are around here. And they all came as a community together, to celebrate together. Jews, Muslims, Christians. Uh, I'm Abd Rabba. معروف زي العلم في كل العالم أنا في عندي ثلاث أمنيات بطلبهن الأمنية الأولى بتمنى لديان ألف مبروك وبكله عرس مبروك وصهرة حلوة بالرفاهة بالبنين وإن شاء الله يكون معاك عشر ولاد زي <تصفيق> أنا اسمي عبد الله بدوي ساكن في عرب السواحري وألف مبروك لأديان وسمو سيمونا وإن شاء الله الشعب الإسرائيلي والشعب الفلسطيني بيكون زينا هيك عيلة واحدة وبعم السلام في جميع أنحاء العالم وشكرا the organization exists for four and a half years. We started on Mount of Olives at a house of a, a good friend, Palestinian friend that lives at the top of the Mount of Olives. And we've been meeting in the past two years in the uh, spring near the Malcha Mall, near Canyon Malcha. We meet there Israelis and Palestinians from the West Bank with people from Europe and the States. And now we have a whole week gathering with um, people that have come from, from abroad, from Holland and from England and people from here. They and came to, to visit here? Yeah, they came to, to visit see the, 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 the eyes of the All Nations, to see Israel through the eyes of the All Nations Cafe. If it's about the Palestinian and the Israeli uh, conflict, so the best uh, way to uh, break with the two kids the fighting is maybe to give this land and this land.
So let's say about Maka and Medina. Uh, this is a very good place to move to. Villot, Mercedes, Seven Wives, Oil, Neft, Gold, the very best and rich. So there's a lot uh, of land to everyone. So live the Israel here, move to Maka and Medina. This is Mexico. I think that you I would like to bless every oh sorry, did I stop you? Bless everybody that's here together in a beautiful song that was written in our biblical language. Oh shalom. عشان أول مرة بفوتها ما كنتش أعرف إن القدس حلوة هالقد لإني لما كنت عايشة هون ما كنتش أطلع كنت أضل في البيت يعني عشان هيك حبيت اليوم أكثر إشي. So Akhlam said it was one of the best days of her life. She never been to actually in Al Aqsa as as an adult. Maybe she's been as a baby, but she doesn't remember anything. So it's first time she's been to see the beauty of the. Aqsa Mosque and Dome of the Rock and also to see she didn't know that Jerusalem is so beautiful Al Quds so she's very very <laughs> happy and she loves all the groups <laughs> so I never had an experience before of having a soldier stop somebody that was with me and someone that I love like Mehdi and I my heart just became really really crazy just so so wild and wrapped up and I've never felt that before and imagine what it's like for all the Palestinian mothers watching their children it's it, it, uh, so when you have experience like that it changes you forever right you, you can't see the same thing again in the same eyes so. like this day was like another reason for it like for the place of like connecting to people connecting through just connecting through the heart it felt like somehow our the intention for this day was fulfilled like all the right angels and little devils just to provoke <laughs> us showed up but we we passed the whole like we embraced the friends and we embraced the the foes and I think we all worked out quite well <laughs> saying how that you you enjoy doing things for people and you um, you you like to see people uh, love each other and regardless of where they're from or who they are I don't believe there is a problem between Israeli and Palestinian in this land because a lot of people missing and gone and dying for nothing all the land belongs to the to God and we are all as a guest here. Mm -hmm. And in all the book of God say, say we have to love your neighbor as our brother, as ourselves. And never written in any book of God, you have to love your neighbor if he's a Christian like you or Muslim like you or Jew like you. We have to come back to God and loving our neighbor and ourselves. Yes. Thank you for uh, coming to this house and taking time. Come back again. <laughs> you see, this is the house here. I have one bedroom here. For those guests here, I have a Filipino, Korean, and the Japanese. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you? I've been sending some support to the camp, Ida camp in Bethlehem, and I find this brother walking lost there. At first, he called me. Uh, can I help you? Uh, I come from, but uh, I am not, 
not say nothing and I escaped from him because <laughs> he looks funny <laughs> crazy but only crazy man can break through the situation here I think <laughs> are using the word peace or describe themselves as peacemakers or peace activists when in fact what are they doing is uh, reinforcing the conflict for example people who are fighting against the wall we get all the time invitations to come and fight against the wall that is going to be built here next to Enchania and destroy our gatherings this has been going on for two and a half years and we always refuse because each of these demonstrations we get we hear that people get uh, hurt Especially internationals who are put in the front, they get hurt, they sent to hospitals, they don't know what they did. And then they get deported out of the country. I don't think they serve anything, just reinforcing the violence, the, the wall is just keep being building. While our way is to bring together the soldier, the settler, the guy who built the wall, maybe the Palestinian who built the wall, and the Israeli who arranged it for him, the job and to bring them all together and to find out what's, what's, what do we have in common. You see, this is the wall between Mount of Olives and Bethany. Be behind Bethany, there is the Ma'ali Adumim, the Jewish settlement. And the wall between Palestinian and Palestinian, the wall is not being built between Palestinian and Israeli. They make me, is, as living in Israel in the Green Line, and the other side is my cousin, my nephew, my niece, living there. And the wall has never been built here between Israeli and Palestinian. We are entertain entertained by Brother Ibrahim here, Hajj Ibrahim, who is a distinguished uh, member of the society in the Mount of Olives. And here he is in his own house, uh, as, as usual, throwing his doors open for everybody. We're breaking the Jewish fast of Tisha B'Av. With the beautiful kosher food that the uh, Abul Hawa family is making on the Mount of Olives. My aim is to have a, um, a tour, to travel around with people from both sides of this conflict, uh, because it, it's illegal, it's wrong, uh, it's, it's amoral, really. What is going on in this country? The Holy Land, this is the Holy Land. Dear friend, dear friend, let me tell you how I feel You have given me such pleasure I love you The whole Nation Cafe is a really blessing to bring Muslim and Christian Jew together in one place where it's allowed for everyone to be there. اليوم بكون هون بحس اني شباب برجع صغير لان روح ابوي روح ستي روح عمي روح العيله تبعي بشوفها هون ورا الحجاب في التراب تحت الشجر عند الحنيه اي تريد ما حمرش لي ما بين ماي عين الحنيه لكح لعدما اليوم أحد رأيتي دفنة في ديان يشوفين تحت عيد تين عيد سزي أبش الأبش اللي زرعته بعد ما بو دفنة خلال دبرتي شلوم ما تعسي ما ت دخلت لكرتها ما تمعسي ما يوم نكيم على دعاين ما أنا نحن عسين بوم عقالت كل يوم شلشي لا ما له تبولينا ما تم أنا أبو أنا أبو دبرت لي آخر کار خد 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 خال نه لالخت لعدم آشیلی، اکروت آدمه، دخیل لعزور دی بعدمه. 
הביאו לי עצים, תודה רבה להם. שתלנו עצים, ארזנו הרבה עצים. שנה ראשונה? כן, זה פעם ראשונה. This is the first year that the olive tree is giving olives. איזה יפים הם. איזה. כשאני רואה זה, אני מבסוט לגמרי, תאמין לי. When I see this, I'm... זה הפמיליה שלי. Totally... זה הפמיליה שלי. Happy, so this is my family. לא, לא, אני הייתי הרבה. שוב. רוצים לחיות בשקט, מספיק. מספיק אלימות, מספיק מלחמות. שנינו הפסדנו. כל בית יש לי בלאגן, כל משפחה יש לי, מישהו הלך לה. <coughs> מספיק. די. צריך אהבה מחדש. איך עושים קפה כל העמים, יושבים כל שבוע. One of the most famous places in Christianity. Looks like Shabbat, eternal Shabbat thing. Bismillah wal ibn al ruh al quds in the name Bismil Ab wal ibn wal ruh al quds in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Ana hu al kiyama wal haq wal haya min amin. B. Uh, I am that Christian Shahid. He's a Christian. Tell him, son! Okay. I must say that I'm shocked to see Bethlehem like that because before the Intifada, the, we used to come here to buy things and it was full of goods and full of people, you know, business was going on. Now it looks like a Sunday and it's the midweek. It's, a, it's really it's like a Sunday, you know, amazing. And it's a, it looks like nice, but it's a sad story behind it. There's no business. That's what it is, no business. We've grown from one car to two cars to three cars. And we're going through Bethlehem. We're on our way to the Haitian refugee camp. Said we're now entering, following the kids to their home. And we're at the entrance to uh, the Haitian refugee camp. Like other refugee camps, it's very, very crowded and narrow because it used to be tents that the United Nations distributed in 48 for people for temporary use just for the winter. And eventually it became houses, tin houses and little bit land. And then they had children and grandchildren. Everybody stayed to live there. They all stayed refugees for 60 years. It didn't change. So everybody now lives on the little plots where the tents were. So the infrastructure and uh, everything is a big mess. Do they have water and electricity, all the amenities they that have, they need? They have. Actually, in the Haitian camp, they don't pay electricity right. because uh, Yasser Arafat, in his time, he, uh -huh. he took it that the PA will pay for them. Right, but rent so and all the rest of it, like... It's quite cheap and they so get some things from the United Nations, some food, uh -huh. but the conditions are very, very bad. Sewage is usually non-existent right. and other things. Wow. And we will see now as we walk how it's like. people, <laughs> half of them uh, from Bethlehem, from the Haitian, entering a settlement in three cars. <laughs> it's really a great, but thank God we all came here for a good cause. And I think that's why we, are, we managed to get in so beautifully. So it's the district of Bethlehem, and in Hebrew it's called the district of Gush Etzion. Uh, and it's dotted by Palestinian towns and villages and Jewish settlements, usually on top of mountains. And we're very close to Bethlehem, it's right there, and the Heisha camp. 
but the atmosphere is quite different, I think. And uh, we would like also to go around to sense how it is to be here. To, what are your names? Hey, I'm Ran, Shlomo, and Jonathan. Hi. And you? Ariel. You're all brothers and sisters? No, no. No, no just friends going She's to the supermarket. Sister. Ah, your sister. And uh, how long have you been living here in Neved Daniel? We're 20 years. First year. 20 years? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my family. Ah, your family, okay. Family you were here born here. Do you happen to meet kids from the villages here, from the Palestinian villages, like Nakhalin or from no, Brooklyn? No, no. Why not? Have you ever met uh, kids from these villages? It's hard, it's hard to get contact. But you, you know the, the names of the villages around you? Not yeah. really. But you know they are Palestinian. Like you, you hear the Muazin in the night, you see yeah, the green yeah. lights. Uh, are you afraid of them? Or no. just... No. Uh, do you venture like this Patriarch Road, Berechavot, do you go there sometimes? Yeah. we walk there, we, we go on a bicycle there. So you meet probably some Palestinians coming from that village in Akhalim. From Aha. Uh -huh. you from there. <laughs> and uh, how does it feel to meet Palestinians in these places? In the spring? Do you, okay. you talk at all? Yeah, yeah? you could play football with them. <laughs> do you speak Arabic? No. But how do you communicate? Hebrew. Ah, in Hebrew. Hebrew, and they understand. They usually know Hebrew. Yeah? So, uh, like, w would you like to sometime in the future like to befriend them and maybe to have a kind of a maybe a joint school or a joint activity together. are you guys busy yeah, now no. can maybe you show we maybe we'll play yeah. a game together ah, <laughs> wow. you ready to play a game with us okay. Okay. Just okay. Go just switch to whichever switch. direction and switch. everybody just keeps on going bang which is the direction bang 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 whoosh bang whoosh whoosh Bang! Free cash. <laughs> 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 huh? We are uh, with uh, Diane, with uh, with the all all nations cafe. Yeah. Where are you? Chagai. Where are you? Where are you? I'm here in London, but Diane. Diane is a boy with a with a chalfa and a dumah. So. אנחנו פה קבוצה של ישראלים. הם אומרים כולם ישראלים? לא. כולם עובדים זרים? לא, לא. אבל זה שהוא אמר לא להיכנס אחרי הצהריים עם מי שאין לו תעודת זהות ישראלית ולא עבר בשער. עברנו בשער. והאדון הנכבד? הנה בואו, יש פה את גברת דפנה רוזנברג שיותר... שלום. שלום, ערב טוב. ערב טוב גם לך, מה שלומך? תודה. שמי יורם ו... איזה אנחנו מכירים יורם. אתה הבן של אדון קאופמן. נכון. כן, טיפלתי באבא שלך. כמעט שנה. אה, נכון. שלום. שלום וברכה, שכחתי. רוזנברג, רוזנברג. נכון. אני יודעת את זה. אני חושב שזה היה מאוד 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 I uh, was looking for work and I started working for a company that um, sends people to take care of old people. And they sent me to the house of this man's father, Dr. Kaufman, <laughs> Mr. Kaufman. And for a whole year, I used to come every week for two, two times a week for yes. about three, four hours and do shopping for him and clean the house and keep him company. And I used to meet Yoram every once yes. in a while when he'd come to visit his father and he'd see me. I believe it. And there we go. And there we meet. Okay, okay. okay. I, uh, I've been running together with another person, this organization that's called the All Nations Cafe. And it's, uh, we, do, we started in Jerusalem, in East Jerusalem, about five years ago. And now we're sitting near, a spri near Jerusalem, near not far from the Malcha Mall. Mm -hmm. And we, we do gather weekly gatherings with Israelis and Palestinians. Meeting different kinds of people, meeting Palestinians, meeting Israelis, meeting settlers, meeting soldiers, meeting children. Like, and, and wanting to just yeah, to, to hear people, to meet people on a very, okay, on a heart level. Uh, Do you have contact with the villages around here? Yes, of course, of course, of course, with the neighbor, of course. Mm -hmm. If we make something, uh, we have parties, we have uh, all the time, uh, we make uh, together uh, uh, parties. No, I mean, like, do you have contact with the Palestinian ah. villages, uh, for the people from the Palestinian they, they villages? Come to walk. They, they come, come to work. Uh, they come to work mm -hmm. over here. Uh, well, uh, we live in peace. Well, I don't, uh, so most of the people who live here, you know, the government can speak like this, 
What does the government speak there? Here is, I think it's different. Something different from different what the government. Said. אני הולך רגע לסופר, אולי תיכנסו אחרי זה לשתות משהו? נשמח מאוד. כן? בסדר? איפה הבית שלך? הנה, פה. איזה? פה, 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 פה. איזה? פה, 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 עם הפרגולה בחוץ, עם האופניים. נהדר. אני אקרא להם לבוא. כן, כן. He said, invited us to come into his house. אני חושב שכולם נעשה היכרות ונסביר להם מי ממש. סם קייק? יאללה. חוטי? קרקה? It's unbelievable. Because we came from the refugee camp in Bethlehem and we met the Palestinians there and then we wanted to come here and like meet people from this, from, uh, this place. It's interesting to say, but we are friends of Arabs here. They built us our homes. היינו כמו משפחה, שתינו ביחד, אכלנו ביחד, דיברנו על מנהגים ביחד, וזה כל כך מחמם את הלב, שדווקא אצלי בבית, זה ממש, איך את אומרת, סייעתא דשמעה, שדווקא אצלי בבית מתכנסים הכינוס הזה של הביחד הזה, מכל המי ומי, מכל הארצות, ושרק יהיה באמת שלום ואהבה בינינו ובין השכנים. After uh, playing the games, uh, I think I feel um, Jewish children and the Palestinian children uh, have more closer in the feelings. Here and this is their land, and they have sheep and donkeys. بشارك أنا معاك ومع الأصحاب في قهوة كل الأمم في عدة نشاطات لقاءات بين يهود بين عرب بين فلسطيني. الإيجابي يكون لازم يكون سلام على الحقيقة مش كذب. ولا ولا والناس حرية يمشوا زي ما بد الواحد يروح يجي ما واحد يقول له وين رايح وهي كنا نحب يعني أشياء زي هذه ما ما واحد يقول لك وين رايح أروح من هلا للبحر الميت ما واحد لازم يقول لي وين رايح أروح للقدس ما واحد يقول لي وين رايح هي كنا نحب يعني هلا الأجهزة أنا الفكرة تبعتي إنه إحنا إن وجدنا على الأرض هذه شعبين فيش مجال إلا لازم نعيش مع بعضنا بأمان وسلام الحل إذا زي زي الحكومة الحين ما بتصرف الحين مثلا إنهم يسووا جدار من هون وجدار من هون وجدار من هون هذا الإشي ما بجيب السلام <تصفيق> كل واحد يسوي وبحس زي ما بده بالطريق فيش طريق واحدة للكل Labyrinth is the labyrinth is a kind of a parable for life for the journey we do in life the first part is a journey inwards then we have a space where we stay in the center and the next the second part is a journey outwards once we've been inwards we're going out to life
I think I have a, a Jewish background. I've been to Israel several times. The first time in 1965 with a very idealistic group of people. Very few of them were Jewish. We spent three months on a kibbutz. We worked in a hospital. Um, it was a very idealistic period and everyone, the whole world, was enthusiastic about the Israel project. And I was. And I stayed very enthusiastic. And obviously, deep in my heart, I have great sympathy for, for the Jews, what they've been through over the centuries, and in recent times, the Holocaust, etc., etc. So the idea of a Jewish homeland or a Jewish state was very appealing. But gradually, as time went on, um, and no one heard about the Palestinians in those days. It was as if they didn't exist. Um, but as time went on, one heard more and more, and there were wars, there were intifadas, etc., etc. Public opinions swung away from Israel towards the Palestinians. And then I also started to think, because peace wasn't that straightforward, there was another party involved. Um, and then I started taking an interest in the Palestinians and trying to understand their point of view, realizing that only by bringing them into the equation could you really ever find a, a long-term solution. Wonderful, wonderful people um, that have organised this, Daphna and Diane and all the other people that sit behind those two, um, have done a wonderful job yeah, to make me feel welcome and um, into their hearts and into their country. And um, it's been, it's been a wonderful week and I actually don't want to go home. In terms of the aim of the project is to make contact with Palestinians, to try and understand the problem and to show how the All Nations Cafe tries to bring all sides together. I think that was a, a great success and again, a great many wonderful experiences. I think the media portrays such the wrong message. Um, I think I'm just amazed at how beautiful the people are in terms of the, they want peace, you know, um, Arabs and the Jews. It ultimately, it is about the peace process and they both want that so much. It's in their hearts, except, of course, for the extremists, you know, but then they've got their own agenda. But I, they do. They both want peace. And I, and I, think, I think that they, they know that from the other. I think each one of them know that. Still, I'm still optimistic. <laughs> I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. I don't watch the news. And I know that my parents want uh, to raise me in a nicer world than they have been raised in. And I came here to help them do it. Shalom Jerusalem, yes Shalom Jerusalem, yes Shalom Jerusalem, yes Shalom Jerusalem, yes.